Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Application Engineer here at TPM. Today's topic is going to be editing the wire path for more accurate wire distances in Revit MEP. Okay, now we're over here in Revit. Now I have a bunch of existing receptacles and they are already circuited so I'm going to go to one of the receptacles on my circuit. Now when I selected that receptacle down here two tabs are colored up here. The modify of course and because it's already on a circuit the electrical circuits. So I'll click on electrical circuit and the new tool that we're discussing today is edit path. So that's right here edit path. So when I select Edit Path, I'm going to have two choices, Farthest Device or All Devices. So right now it's giving me the distance for the farthest device. Now in this mode, if I know what the offset is going to be, so maybe it's at 10 feet in the, in the uh, plenum, I can change it there and it's changing it for the whole run. Now when I change offsets when I'm in the individual mode it will be for individual vertices of this particular wire. So let's switch over to 3D real quick and you can see that's my run and you can see you actually can see it in 3D. Now back in 2D let's go from farthest device to all devices. So now you can see my distance has changed quite a bit and it's doing all the vices. Now the reason my distance has changed quite a bit is because of the elevation. I think we can best see this back in 3D. So I'm going to switch back over to our 3D and if I click on this particular segment you can see that segment is at 4 feet. Right here it tells you and it tells you right here. So I'm going to change that to the 10 feet we discussed earlier and then I need to change this one as well because like I said in this mode it's changing individual vertices or individual legs of the wire. So now I have it pretty much where I want it. So I can go finish editing path. Now back in my floor plan if I wanted to see it again if I select an uh, any of my objects that are in the circuit, go to Edit Circuit, go back to Edit Path, it's going to save that path as custom. So now I have all three of these and I can look at what the distances are going to give me for all three of them. Now maybe I have a very specific path that I need it to follow. Maybe it needs to go into some cable tray or something. Some of the other commands you can do in this, if you right click on a, a wire, you can go into insert control point. So I can insert a control point and then pick where I want that one to be. And then I can move individual segments. Maybe I need to insert another control point up here somewhere. So I'll go insert control point. Drag this down. Okay, so you can, you know, insert control points all that you want to, do any kind of uh, direction that you want. If you want to get rid of a control point, you just go on top of that control point and go delete control point. So I have total control over how I want to manage this length. And of course when I'm finished I go up here and go finish editing path. And even in properties when you click on the circuit now it will give you, well I've got to go into edit circuits, but it will give you the length. And this is the length of the, the current method that you're using. So in our case it's the custom method. So that's a real simple little tool. 
It's very useful. Um, does allow you to get much more accurate links on your wire links. Thank you for watching another in our continuing series of 4 Minute Fridays from TPM. Look for us at tpm.com or you can subscribe to TPM Solutions channel on YouTube. Once again, thank you for watching.